Didn't you learn calculus? I did! I learned it when I was two! <laughs> well then you probably forgot it already. Well, I learned it now, but you probably forgot it already. Five years ago? People don't remember. Well, I thing. do! This is Rifat Bari from Bari Science Lab. I'm a freelancer who's gonna be taking Shibono Isaac Barry's interview. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Shibono Isaac Barry is a world renowned physicist and scientist. And he has been recognized by many world leaders, including uh, President Barack Obama and uh, Harvard President uh, Drew Foss. So um, today our subject is whether we can divide a number by zero. So Shibona Isaac Barry, what is your take no, on whether we, we can... We can never divide by zero. Absolutely not. From the beginning of mathematics, one over zero is garbage. That makes absolutely no sense. No mathematician defend their reasoning with like what? They have to use quantitative reasoning. So let me introduce you to my take. My take is that a limit of 1 over x as x gets smaller and smaller and approaches 0 is going to be infinity. It's going to blow up. Because think about it. Use your common sense. If we divide 1 by smaller and smaller numbers, for example, 1 over 0 0.1, 1 over 0 0.01, 1 over 0 0.001, 1 over 0 0.00001, they will all approach infinity as we get closer and closer to zero. Uh, I'm I, uh, I do think the point for Tata. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, I can approach zero for part of infinity, and which is getting smaller. And I, I mean, uh, I can approach zero for uh, the part of number, which means it's going smaller. Or I can approach <laughs> negative. Uh, or x can approach zero from the negative numbers, in which it's getting bigger. <laughs> Didn't you learn calculus? I did! Oh. I learned it when I was two! <laughs> well, then you probably forgot it already. Well, I learned it now, but you probably forgot it already. Five years ago, people don't remember. Well, I thing. do! Well, uh, then you should know that the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0 is positive infinity. Man, I think you got positives and negatives confused. No, don't you know calculus? They both approach positive infinity from the left and right hand side. No, if I approach negative infinity, then it, uh, I mean if it approaches from the negative <coughs> number, then it uh, tends towards negative infinity. But if it approaches from the positive number, then it then it tends for positive infinity. If they both approach uh, an infinity, <coughs> then they should be equal. They have they should have the same graph, but that that tiny little uh, makes a uh, different graph. <laughs> you have to go back to second grade. This is like basic. I am in second grade, Dumbo. Oh well, let me give you a second grade example then. What is one over zero? Infinity, obvious. Well, uh, if anything over zero is infinity, and one over zero is infinity, can one quadrillion over zero be infinity? Buddy, Trying to you that. don't want, uh, uh, you do not want nonsense like one equal to one quadrillion, right? All right, folks, uh, thank you, Shibon Isaac, for participating in my interview. It seems like we're going to have to end this live early. Simply because uh, he's not cooperating and because I'm gonna find a way to win the debate. So thank you for watching. And no, you won't!